Okay, so this next drill is to release the rectum, which remember in the pictures on the blog you'll see is that muscle that goes, it's two joint hip flexors, so it starts up past the, the hip and then it goes all the way down to the knee, so it affects both the hip and the knee. There's lots of different ways you can do this, but I usually find the best way to start off is in the 90-90. All right, so 90-90, 90-90, and then if I squeeze this glute at the back, it'll give me a nice little stretch through the front here. I can also even turn away slightly. All right, I'm just trying to open out that line through the front here. Once I'm there, I can then take my fingers and my thumb, and I can just dig all the way through that front portion. All right, don't worry about being too accurate with it. Um, you know, if you, um, you know, because of the anatomy and such, don't worry about it. But as long as you're getting around that front of that thigh as you're going down, you're pretty much on the money. Okay, you'll be picking up other things like your vastus lateralis and other muscles like that, but don't fret too much. As long as you're relatively central of your thigh heading down towards the knee from the hip, you're on a you're on a winner. All right. And as I do that, again, I can crank around even more. I can open out that angle. I can squeeze even more. So I can really work on increasing that. That, um, that stretch, I can pull that foot even closer in like this, that will also increase that stretch down that rect fem. All right, so you can just play with it to get more and more uh, tension, you know, to dial it up or dial it down. Okay, and then I just start to release, just spend about two minutes at max, you know, minute, minute at the minimum, working through um, and just digging through all these areas. Again, if you're struggling with um, strength in your hands, take an implement of some sort, okay, so end of a wooden spoon, anything that's just not sharp, but you know, about the sort of the the circumference of the end of your thumb would be perfect. So anything you can do, and it just helps you just to get in there and just sort of, sort of dig it through. Um, some people use a, a bit of a dowel, end of a dowel, and then hockey players sometimes use their stick, it's a little bit big, but you know, anything that allows you to sort of get some leverage in there if you're struggling with um, the strength of your hands. And then obviously you'll switch over to the other side as well. 